The other day, my cousin asked me via a WhatsApp group, what top five coins do you recommend that are priced under a dollar for an investment? And in this video, I'm going to share with you the WhatsApp exchange, including the coins and the cryptos that I recommended and that I suggested to him. Please follow me on Twitter and join my official Telegram announcements channel. Also, please follow me on BitTube.video. You can also follow me on Odyssey. These are both censorship resistant platforms. And every now and then I am going to post a video which isn't going to be on YouTube. To find the best cryptocurrency investments, check out Token Metrics. Use my affiliate link for a discount. Hi, everybody. This is Crypto Rich working with you to get rich with crypto, filling our pockets with crypto profits. And like I said, I'm going to be going through what I shared with my cousin. In fact, a whole group of cousins, because I'm on a WhatsApp group with them, which cryptos that are under a dollar that I think are worth looking at and considering. Now, one of the things that I was careful to point out to him and I point out to you is that none of this is investment advice and do your own due diligence. And I've lost money and I've made money. And in the end, you're responsible for whatever you direct your money to. Now, the other thing I want to let you know about my cousins is I have a lot of cousins. I don't have enough cousins and I love them all. They're wonderful, delightful. I don't have enough of them around me all the time. Some of them live in other cities. Some of them live in other countries. And they are a complete, complete tr delight. And I'm grateful to have such a rich host of cousins. Now, one thing wrong with them, and I'm going to let them know about this video, is they didn't listen to me. I told them about Bitcoin when I bought my first Bitcoin at $15. And they waited and they waited and they waited. And then they bought in just before the 2017 pump up, actually right in the middle of the pump up. And then they got upset when the price crashed down. And then they didn't believe me and they didn't believe me and they didn't believe me. And when Bitcoin was $3,000 and $6,000, I was telling them to buy some more, buy some more, buy some more. And then finally, at around $30,000, they start coming in again. There you go, cousins. Now, this particular cousin, whose name is going to remain anonymous, I have a particular affection for. He, get, he and I get on very, very well. And I'm going to share what he said and what I've said through this WhatsApp exchange. And I may put in a bit of a Punjabi accent at certain points. Now, what I didn't share with them, but they'll see when I do this video, is how well my shrimpy bot is doing or how well it's not doing right now. I put in 0.1 of a Bitcoin the beginning of August, 3rd of August, 2021. And at one point, that was worth as much as 0.129. It also had dropped down to 0.92. So I was like 8% down at this point. Now, at time of recording on Saturday, the 18th of September, I'm at 103, 0.103 Bitcoin. So I'm up 3%. So it has fluctuated. But I've done this before, used it for several months before, and it is a long-term game and it's set and forget. And I'm using the picks that are selected by Token Metrics Artificial Intelligence. And I'll have discounts for Token Metrics service below and also, sorry, I meant an affiliate link and also an affiliate link for Shrimpy if you want to go and check this out and try it for yourself and do not put in any more than you can afford to lose. Now, this conversation started with my cousin when I posted this article about PayPal allowing UK users to buy and sell Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash within the UK. Now, I understand they can already do that in the US. I'm not sure if you can take the crypto out of PayPal, in which case I certainly wouldn't use it because if I'm not able to take it out, then I don't have the private keys and it's not really my, my Bitcoin or my crypto. But let me know in the description below if you're in the US and if you've used this service and if you are able to take out the cryptocurrencies that you purchase through PayPal. But I think this is going to be really bullish for crypto in the UK. But I think it's already pretty bullish because the larger number of crypto purchases are going to be in the US just by virtue of population size. Anyway, he then says, this is great. Please advise top five coins under a dollar at the current market price for some investment. And I say, just send me one dollar. And then I say, it depends on how much risk you want to take. And he replies, Are bhai. But he actually doesn't say, Are bhai. He says my name as a sense of exasperation. And then he says, as much risk as it's out there. But you know what I, I understood to be, you know, life is pretty risky right now. We've got energy prices going through the roof. We've got food inflation, breakdowns with the supply chain, which I think are going to get worse. And they're not some of the breakdowns in the background haven't yet made the mainstream media, but the ones in the foreground about, you know, empty supermarket shelves, but there's more going on in the background uh, that is going to have a delayed knock-on effect to what happens in the foreground. Then there's also what's happening with the impact of the pandemic and how it's closing down businesses and the impact that's had on people's incomes. And then there's all the money printing, all the money printing. There's the Saudi-Russia military deal in, in, that was made in August and the impact that's going to have in the US dollar. 
So it, it's just very, very shaky grounds. And then, of course, there's Evergrande. By the way, I'm going to be recording a video with Tom Luongo in a few days' time where we're going to look at some of this stuff. So please subscribe, click the notification bell so you catch that because he's an absolutely brilliant, brilliant political and financial analyst and commentator. So I'm asking him about Evergrande and their big uh, debt and how they're likely to default and what might happen and the impact that's going to have on the global financial markets. So I say to him, there are so many good projects, many that I do not know about and some that I do know about, and some of these may fail. I mean, I, they, you know, people ask me about, well, what about this project and this project and this project? And I don't know. I don't know much about Solana. I've not really dug into it. I know a little bit about Cardano. I know a little bit about Polkadot. I know more about Ethereum because I've held it longer and it's been around longer. I don't know much about Doge. And some of the other projects on CoinMarketCap, I don't know at all, really. I mean, in the top 100 ones, one of the things that I've been doing over the last few years is I've been aligning myself, working with really small projects right at the beginning, right at the beginning, right at the beginning, like, for example, Pirate Chain, like, for example, Sentinel, and creating a relationship with them and building my uh, audience in my community with them and you know, kind of like partnering with the project so that as they grow, so will my channel grow and so will my financial fortunes. And in some respects, it has worked with Pirate Chain and with Sentinel. And I think there's a lot more mileage there. And with others, it hasn't quite happened yet. Then he says to me, look, please share your YouTube channel's link as some dear friend needs to follow you. Well, this seems like an appropriate point for me to uh, ask you to sub sub subscribe, comment, like, and here are my links. I'll have them in the description below. And if you are watching this on YouTube, please, 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 please come over and subscribe to me on one of the censorship resistant platforms, BitTube, Odyssey, Library. You know, I'm out to build my base there because YouTube are just evil. I'm still being shadow banned two years later and that ain't ever going to change. I don't get the views that a channel my size should get. So please do subscribe to me at, on BitTube and, Live, and Odyssey. Oh, and follow me on Twitter and Telegram. So then I said, okay, I will make suggestions, but please sign disclaimer and answer my two questions below. And he says, Yar, I asked a simple question and you behave like an attorney. Disclaimers and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> He's such a, I love him so much. He's so funny. And, and here's, here's what I said. I, I laughed and I blew him some kisses. I don't, we're not allowed to travel and meet our family members currently. So I can't go and meet up with him. So these are my two questions. Now, he is an experienced banker. He works in banking. I work in social work. So I thought he'd know some answers to these questions. So I say to him, apart, number one, apart from the increase in the cost of goods at the shop level, what are other indicators that suggest a move into a hyperinflation cycle? You know, how inflation happens, my understanding is, right, is, is it ticks along, ticks along, ticks along, ticks along, ticks along, and then it shoots up. It happens really, really quickly right at the end. And then you're in hyperinflation because it's a little bit like, you know, if you take a, a stadium and you put in a drop of water, but every subsequent drop you double. So you go from one to two to four to eight to 16 drops and now 32 drops. It's in the last second that it doubles because it goes from half full to suddenly full. And hyperinflation from my Reading and understanding works like that. It goes along slowly, 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 and then it shoots up. Well, what I wanted to know, and you, let me know in the comments below, what are the signs that we're in this little crest? You know, and I think some of them are breakdowns in supply chain, increased money printing. I mean, the breakdown in supply chain has been caused by the by the lockdown uh, and by the pandemic, if you want to call it that, or the scamdemic or the shamdemic or whatever it is, right? But certainly by the lockdown and uh, the testdemic. But it's also been caused by inflation. Because where you get resources costing a whole lot more, like raw resources, that has a knock-on effect. But the companies at the time in the manufacturing section of the supply chain don't necessarily have the funds to be able to afford the fresh resources that are more expensive. So then they have to charge more straight away. And there are breakdowns because they have to maybe they have to buy less or something than they would have done otherwise. And that has leads to shortages in the supply chain. And then also freight costs are the cost of moving goods or hiring freight tankers to move sh goods around the world have gone through the roof. I have no idea why. I just know they've gone through the roof. The other thing that's happened is that energy prices are, um, are incredibly high. And they, as the winter hits the Northern Hemisphere, they're just going to get higher. So that is going to have a knock-on effect. And I just want to know, what, you know, let me know in the comments below if there's any other early indicators we're about to move into a hyperinflation phase, apart from the fact that everything's are just getting more expensive at the retail end. What are the other signs? So that's what I wanted to ask him. My second question was, 
is there any way out of the Evergrande debacle that will not impact the money markets? So I thought I would ask my experienced banker cousin, me, this social worker, ask him, well, what, is there any way out of this? I can't see one. And do you know what he said? I'm taking a walk. I think I chose the wrong guru. And I also said, I was already typing out, I will now tap out an answer to your question. But not if you go for a walk. What is this? I'm doing all this work and he's going to go for a walk and he's not even giving me an answer to my question. Then number two, his answer is, when I ask him, is there any way out of the ever, ever grand debacle that will impact the money markets? He gives me three dollar signs. And then I say, is that an answer? Shall I give you an equally expansive answer? And then I say, very bad buy. Now, bhai in Urdu and in Hindi means brother. There isn't a word in Urdu or Hindi for cousin. So we call our cousins, brothers and sisters. And then he asked me about the YouTube channel link, which I've shared with you before. And if you haven't subscribed now, you really should do. Please do. Please do. Comment, like, click the notification bell and all that business. So this is uh, part of my answer. I suggest a mixed profile, high market cap, mid market cap and low market cap. Do not buy any cryptos that you're not going to pay attention to. Sometimes they make changes that affect the price or they fail or they do token swaps or something that has an adverse reaction on the price. So let me see if I can give you a couple of examples of that. So one example that worked out really well was Ethland. So I bought Ethland in 2017. It was about 10 cents at the time or maybe five cents. I can't remember. Didn't pay any attention to it. Let it gather, gather dust in my um, hardware wallet. And then a few years later, I mean, every now and then I'd have a look and nothing was happening. A few years later, they did this swap. They were going from Ethland to Ave. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, I don't believe it. I I've just struck lucky. Lucky. Now the same thing happened with Atom because that's how I got introduced to Cosmos. It wasn't like, to Osmo, it wasn't like I did any great due diligence or anything. It was, okay, I'm willing to take a punt here. Let me buy a couple of hundred Atom and hold them and see what happens. So in those instances, it worked out well. But there are other instances where I've held on to projects, they've not worked out or they've done token swaps and I've not kept up to date and I've lost them. I've lost, you know, I've lost my, my funds because it's been too late to move from one blockchain to another blockchain. Now, I'm not going to name those projects, but it has happened to me. And every now and then, one of the things I do is I regularly prune my holdings as my portfolio gets too diverse. You know, I just can't keep track of all these projects. It's unfeasible. So I recommend the same to him. Now, as I'm recommending to him, and if you find this useful, you may want to consider it for yourself. But remember, it isn't investment advice. Then the other thing I said is do not buy too many or too few cryptos either. Hedge, but not so much that you cannot keep an eye on them because he was asking for five cryptos under a dollar. Now, I don't know what other holdings he's got. He really should send me his private keys so I can have a look. That's a joke, by the way. Don't send me your private keys. I don't want to. Don't send anybody your private keys. Be conscious of security. Buying lots of cryptos could mean managing lots of different wallets. Oh, yes. And the best thing to keep them in is a hardware wallet. And I'll come to that in a moment. And then what I suggested is take a third of your investment and distribute between the different market cap cryptos. So a third with the, you know, the really large market cap coins, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, spread it out between those, Polkadot, right, whatever. And then a third with the medium market cap coins, whatever you may decide those are, perhaps some at the lower end of the top 100 market cap or the upper end of the 100 to 200 range. And a third, perhaps, to small market cap cryptos. Now, those ones are really, really risky and the rewards can be incredible. So you can have losses and you can have rewards. Do not buy any stable coins, even though they are for a pound. Now, this was a little jibe at him that I don't know if it registered with him because a few years ago, he asked me, how come Tether's price never goes up? It's always about a dollar. So then I explained to him what stable coins are. So if you're going to invest in cryptos and you see, oh my God, Tether, USDC, die, all for a dollar. Great bargains. I'll put all my money in them. And then you check in a month later, three months later, four years later, there'll still be a dollar. And then I said, looking at, look at CoinGecko.com and sort, sort the cryptos by price. There are 25 cryptos under a dollar, excluding the stable coins. I only know about hot Holochain, NEM, Crow, Doge, XLM, Stellar Lumens, and BAT, Brave Attention Token. If I were to choose from them now, it would be all of them but Holochain and NEM. And that's mostly because I can't be bothered with keeping up with them. I have held NEM in the past, by the way, and I have covered Holochain in the past. And I'm not saying they're bad projects or whatever. I just don't want, I just don't want so many. You know, if you were to take these, you might be like, okay, well, I'll have brave attention token bats and i'll have chrome and i'll have them because i know about them i'm not interested in the others because really you can kind of pick and mix up to whatever your interest is then of these i hold cro and bat i have held doge xlm and nem in the past though 
I don't hold them currently. And then looking at cryptos that I hold that are under $1 that I could suggest. And I do say I follow these projects closely, by the way. Well, those ones are, I'll tell you in a moment, right? First, I want to tell you about the Apollo wallet. I have one here and you may not see it clearly because of my the green screen. So you can see, look, 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 now you see it, now you don't. Now you see it, now you don't. It uses an incredibly secure element, six plus, and uh, very, 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 very secure. And if you use my discount code and you use my affiliate link, you get 20 euros off the price. And I think it's discounted right now because they're in the pre-order phase. So anyway, do check that out. They're a partner of the BPSAA, which means the BPSAA have gone through them and think it's secure enough to help you preserve your privacy and your security of your cryptocurrencies. The BPSA coins that it holds currently are Komodo and Ether protocol, but the other ones are on the roadmap. So looking at cryptos that I hold that are under a dollar, I could suggest these ones, Tube, the coin of the BitTube network ecosystem, DVPN, the token of the cent of Sentinel, ETHO, the coin of ETHO protocol, ETN, Electronium, and SXDT, which is Spectre. Now, I don't have the prices to hand, you know, I said it to him so he can go and look it up. You can go and do that yourself. And I said in bracket, I think DVPN will do very, very well. It has done very, very well for me. Remember, I got into DVPN when it was 0. and then three zeros, five of a dollar. 0. 0, 0, 0, 5 of a dollar. And currently, I think it's about four and a half cents. And there is so much coming. They have a free VPN that works on Android. You can download it. You'll be able to earn passive income off it. And you'll be able to uh, give your spare bandwidth to their, vent to their decentralized VPN service. Then I also added that Electronium and SXDT are slow burners. And they are indeed. They really, really are indeed. Electronium's taken ages to do anything. But I do have a lot of faith in Richard Ells and his business acumen and the way that they're setting up, building the foundation, building the foundation, building the foundation, making sure that it works with all relevant regulations. So in a way, it's kind of future proof. That's where they're pitching themselves at. It has lost some of its privacy features. But hey, if you want a privacy coin, it's always pirate chain. And then SXDT, well, that's been paying out ETH regularly to its token holders since April 2018. And they're building their ecosystem, giving more and more of their rewards to SXDT holders. Now, it's not available for US residents or investors. And that's nothing to do with Spectre.ai. It's to do with US regulations. And unfortunately, my cousin, this cousin, he lives in the US. Sorry. And then I go on to say some others to consider that are under $2 that I hold and I think are worthwhile. Komodo, Veriscoin, Matic, Secret, Morph, Ada, and R. Now, I hold all of these and I've been hodling them for ages and ages and ages. I actually have Matic. I never, ever talk about it. But it was it was a punt that has worked out really well, and I think will continue to work out well. I've done videos on Komodo and Ver Veriscoin. I've been involved in that project right from the very start in June 2018, and I cover it regularly. And um, I think when it was first listed, it was um, 0.5 cents or no, it was about five cents when it first listed on any exchange. And right now, I think it's just under two dollars. Secret, Secret Network, I came onto this a little bit late. I think it's very, very promising. And I made a mistake in a previous video that I did that I said it was a layer two privacy solution. I've been corrected. It's a layer one privacy solution. Uh, Morpheus Network, I've been covering this project. I just recently recorded an interview with Dan Weinberger, the CEO of Morpheus Network. I cover them regularly. And um, I think when they ICO'd, it was 10 cents. And that was in 2018. I think it's an incredibly well-run project with a really bright future. Um, supporting blockchain, um, using the blockchain for supply chain logistics. They have governments that are their customers. They have top exchange. You know, I think one of the top, FCL, which is in the top 50 of the Canadian stock exchange is one of their customers. And they're just growing and growing and growing. Then, of course, Cardano. I bought Cardano when it was pennies. And uh, I think it is going to go places. I think it's worth looking at. So, uh, you know, you've got to do your own due diligence. And I do keep a little bit of an eye on what's happening with Cardano. I have a cousin. He does a cryptocurrency channel in Urdu, and I'll link to his channel in the description below, uh, info for you. And he keeps me abreast of what's happening with Cardano because he covers Cardano quite a bit. And then R, Pirate Chain, $2.67. Now, I know it, that's more than $2, but, but when it first launched, it was for sale at a penny in September 2018. A penny, a penny. How many? How many pennies? One penny. In September 2018, and now $2.67, it has been as high as over $16. So it has worked out very, very well. I think getting a hold of good projects 
and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, hodling. I'm a hodler. I don't flip. I don't know how to, I mean, I know how to flip. I don't trust myself. I just prefer the more conservative play. Good project, long-term hold. It takes patience in the crypto space. And I say, be willing to hold some of these for several years. For example, R was a penny when I first got it in September 2018. You can also buy smaller portions of other cryptos that I think will do very well, like Osmo. Oh my God. I am getting some very silly returns staking Osmo, which allows me to use my daily rewards to compound or buy other cryptos. It said their cryptos, it says other cryptos. Now it's so I got into Osmo right at the very, very beginning. And in all the the excitement about it, it was five dollars and then it went crashed all the way down to a dollar twenty. But it's such a smooth, beautiful, easy to use DEX. And uh, the Cosmos ecosystem is very, very young and growing. So but what I started doing is compounding what I had, compounding what I had, and then selling some of my other cryptos that weren't earning me anything or and converting them to Osmo and then compounding that, compounding that, compounding that, then adding some more and adding some more and compounding and compounding and compounding. And I'm doing very, very well. Osmo is done very, very well for me. And I think, you know, if I look at what Uniswap have done and what's happened with Cake and SushiSwap, I think similar returns, in my opinion, could be possible with Osmo. There you go. Now, please send me one Bitcoin. He said, awesome. Let me do that again. Awesome. This is a very American thing to say. It doesn't quite work in Britain. We don't say that sort of thing. Awesome. Awesome, good fellow. No, we don't say that. Then I say two very important rules. One, don't invest more than you can afford to lose. Do not sell all your chuddies and worldly goods to buy crypto. Chuddies, by the way, is Punjabi for underpants. Do not sell your underpants in order to buy crypto. Wear your underpants and buy some crypto, but keep your underpants. Two, now answer my questions above, the ones that I had earlier, which he still hasn't answered. And three, please send me one more Bitcoin. He said he was sending crypto via Mars. He's lying and he laughed. And then I said, SXDT is not available to US investors. You can get a little tube for free. Install the BitTube Airtime browser app here. So this is a screenshot that I took of my BitTube browser app. And essentially, I, I don't have it in this browser. I have it in another browser. Essentially, what it does, it calculates how much time I'm spending on the internet every day and then gives me a little bit of tube. Now, I've had this for over a year and I've accrued 6,691 tube, which currently is worth $40.15. However, it has been worth much, much higher. And I'm getting this tube for free. All you've got to do is use my link because then I think I get five tube coins and you might get five tube coins, right? And it all builds up, all builds up. Remember, it's a long-term game. You just get tube for doing nothing. It just runs like MetaMaster does in the kind of background or something, right? Like an extension on your browser and you just get tube coins. It also has a built-in VPN, uh, but you can't get tube coins and run the VPN at the same time. And that VPN can be useful at certain times. Generally, I use my Nord VPN and I know I support Sentinel's DVPN. I'm just waiting for Sentinel's application to go live and for them to launch an affiliate link, which I understand is on the roadmap. In the meantime, I've got my affiliate link for Nord VPN and uh, that gives you something like up to 70% off. And it's really important to use a VPN to keep your data secure. And then I also say, you can also get free bats from using the Brave browser. Plus, if you buy and stake some Atom in your own wallet, you will qualify for future airdrops. That is how I got Osmo. And then he goes, oh, that's good. How about staking ADA? How about staking ADA? So then I go into that with him about staking ADA, which I think you can get between 6 to 7%. But then I tell him about a couple of projects, in fact, three projects, maybe four projects, where I'm getting ridiculously higher returns than ADA. And I'm really, really simple to stake with. And they have the opportunity with compounding, which I don't think is possible so much with ADA. But that's going to be in my next video. So please subscribe, click, comment, like, all that business so you catch up on that, right? Which coins to stake, which coins do I stake that give you that give me much, much better returns than Cardano? All right, comments, questions, which cryptocurrencies would you recommend that are under a dollar that are worth a look? Let me know. And between now and when I see you next, please keep filling your juddies with crypto profits. This is Crypto Rich signing out. All the best. Bye-bye.